So there's a lot of debate uh, uh, as to how a single malt should be, to, should be enjoyed, should be drunk and enjoyed. Um, for me, uh, there's no real hard and fast rule. I believe that you know, people are at different stages in their lives and different uh, stages in their own exploration of whiskey um, will approach uh, drinking whiskey in different ways. Uh, the way I personally uh, drink scotch and the way that I encourage my patrons to um, is out of a, a proper whiskey glass. Now this is a, a, a Glen Can crystal glass and the shape of it, um, what it does is it helps to concentrate the flavors uh, in the nose of the whiskey. It helps you be able to um, essentially smell it uh, easier than, were you, than if you were to use a large tumbler which is a very open uh, glass and pretty much the vapors would just disappear. Um, what I like to do is, um, let's see if we can do this here. First, uh, pour a little bit of whiskey into your glass, obviously. All right, and um, the nosing of whiskey is, is really, for me at least, half of the enjoyment. So you can just uh, go in and out a few times. No, you're never in a rush. Uh, you don't want to be sort of burning your nostrils with the alcohol, uh, especially with some of these uh, full cast strength uh, whiskeys here. Um, Go ahead and nose the whiskey and sort of think about what it is you're smelling. So for me, I'm smelling right now, I'm smelling a little bit of a definite sherry note, uh, sort of a bit of like a honeyed, honeyed, almost burnt caramel sweetness. And just a tiny bit of sweet smoke. In addition to, of course, the alcohol, I think this one's about 58% uh, alcohol. So when you've got whiskeys that are aged uh, as this one is and uh, that are as strong as this whiskey is, uh, the next step after nosing it, um, I usually encourage people, even though it's really, really alcoholic, is to just go ahead and taste it prior to adding anything uh, to the whiskey, just to experience it. So that's really just a short sort of taste on the tongue. And then breathe in and out, and you, you catch a lot of uh, different uh, flavors uh, on the after breath. Then when you're ready to actually drink the whiskey, uh, go ahead and add a, a little bit of, just a dash of water. Now doing this uh, in addition to, to cutting down the alcohol volume obviously, uh, it, it, does, it does actually help to release a lot of uh, other flavors that may otherwise just sort of remained uh, bonded uh, together. So adding water to whiskey is, is kind of like uh, aerating wine when you put wine in a decanter kind of let it sit for a while. Uh, it's just coming out of the bottle for the first time in some cases in many years and uh, it's interacting with the environment. Then you're ready to drink your scotch. Mm. Monkey see, monkey like, monkey do. Bananamana.com